Lifestyle is formed by advertising. And felt needs may therefore be made, be needs artificially created for the sake of economic profit. As a consequence, a clear distinction should be made between felt needs and basic human needs. As a consequence, while people, people's needs may be artificial needs, our concern has to be with basic human needs. I never forget the experience in a seminar in Germany. I had spoken about basic human needs. And there was an economist who got up after I had spoken and he said, well, needs are always contextual. Oh yeah? If you distinguish between basic needs and uh, felt needs, you cannot say what you are saying. He said, wait a minute. I can prove you. I can prove to you that needs are contextual. I said, give me an example of a basic need that, you know, only you and Germany feel. <laughs> he said, for instance, a TV set. Wait a minute. That means that no one was really human until there was TV. We must distinguish fair needs from basic human needs. The need of God is a basic need. But many people, perhaps the majority, do not feel that need of God. No one can disregard the need of food, water, shelter, clothing, health, social intercourse. These basic needs are universal. They are present in all cultures and in all periods of history. Even though the ways to meet these needs may vary from place to place and from time to time. The, important, the importance of such needs before God are to be taken into account. And they must be satisfied. Perhaps we should go back to scripture to understand what real basic needs are. In Matthew 25, we read, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say, come you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, you are cursed, 
Depart from me into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. The satisfaction of these basic needs is absolutely essential for people's well-being everywhere. The tendency to minimize its importance by claiming that what the poor needs is really, really God. To know God may only reflect a misguided spirituality that fails to take into account the inseparability of body and soul in every human being. 